Hey, what's up guys? Uh, back here with a Premiere tutorial today and in this one we're going to be going over how to create track mats in Premiere in order to take a layer and drop it inside of text. So uh, I've got this footage here of Boston and I'm going to go ahead and drop it into my timeline. Boom, into the video and I want to drop this down a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And I just want to add some color effects on here so I'm going to add a uh, pre pre done look here so let me click on here we're going to go through a couple of these let's see oh let's go back let's grab this one click on that we're going to make it black and white and I'm going to add some curve adjustment let's just drop it and make it a little darker uh, let's see okay about like that so we'll play through it uh, that's what it looks like and it's just a drone shot over Boston um, so now I'm gonna go back to assembly and I'm gonna drop I've got some pre-made text here it says only in Boston so if I play I can see it's just white and doesn't move or anything so uh, I'd like to pull down actually I'm gonna drop this up a layer and you'll see why in a second I've got this pull image right here that you can see what I want to do is go to effects and we're going to scale that up a little bit to cover the text and now I can go into effects and start typing in track track mat key I'm going to drop that onto my pull layer and then it can go to effect controls and we've got this track mat key now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mat I'm going to put it on the video 3 layer and look it drops it right into the text so let's take the text and scale it up just a little bit so you can see um, now when I play this back you can see that it just plays and it's it's kind of boring so let's add some motion inside so what I'm going to do is nest these layers and we're going to call this uh, pool text and hit enter and then we're going to let's see just cut this drop it on top and we'll make it the same size so that we kind of get two layers and let's kind of expand those well I can't because I've already cut it anyway okay so we're gonna play this we got three seconds now what we can do is take this nested sequence and I'm going to blend let's do a vivid light and you can see how it changed there so if I play it, it's done it for the whole layer well what if I um, create a mask on that so let's take this opa this uh, pen tool mask tool and we're gonna mask out just a certain part of that layer so that you can actually only see this but since it's not on that layer see how we can move it there and let's see if we can get a different one what about color burn nope color dodge okay that one's a little bit brighter I wanted to get something a little bit brighter and you'll see why so let's take that we'll resize this a little bit to bring it and make it unordinary and see what it looks like as we bring it over okay so we're gonna bring it here I'm going to set a, a keyframe here for position and we're gonna drag it over and add a little glitch there and we're gonna move it all the way across let's see as we come back don't see my okay how about we start over Let's undo the keyframes and see where my mask is. All right, there we go. So we're going to set a keyframe here. And actually what I'm doing wrong is I need to set the keyframe for the mask. So let's set the mask path here. And we'll go this to the end and I can see the mask and I'll pull it over here like so. There we go trying to set a uh, keyframe on my position okay so now as I play through this if I click off I can see that that goes through and it's kinda got some some animation so that's a way to take text and drop an image into it and use track mat if you're familiar with After Effects you'll know what a track mat is but just in case you want to do it in promote this is a good way so I'll see you guys in the next one